thank you very much for the invitation. So, uh, <laughs> so, so in, in this lecture, so the the subject is to determine the vessel deformation of non-commutative deformations. How how to how to calculate vessel deformation, and uh, one of the method is to use a infinity uh, algebra structure. So, uh, so I, I will exp explain first what is uh, a infinity algebra, and then uh, how to use a infinity algebra to describe vessel deformation. So, uh, so let me uh, list some references. So, th there is a very nice introduction, introductory paper by Kera. So, intro introduction to a infinity algebra. So. And secondly, there is a paper by Toda. So the, the algebras and the modules. So the modular stack. Semi stable sheets. and representation of x quivers. So in, in this paper, he, he described uh, usual modular space. So this is not, not non-commutative modular space, but he used some technique in, in the non-commutative deformation. And so, the, so my, my one of my paper on multi pointed on commutative and deformations and a Calabria uh, three four. And another paper is on non-commutative formal deformations. Oh, coherent teams. On another correct. So I, I start with the definition of uh, infinity algebra. But I, I start with uh, it's a special case, so DG algebra, DG algebra. So this is a special case of uh, infinity algebra. So let A be a graded vector space. Graded k vector space. So k, k is some fixed base field, uh, which satisfy the following condition is called a DG algebra. So first, so DG G is graded. So this is graded already, and the differential. So there there exists differential a to a of degree one such that. Uh, d x y is equal to d x y plus degree x. Maybe the degree of x is uh, written as absolute value of x and x d y. So this is uh, the derivation condition. And uh, secondly, uh, so this is derivation. Ah, okay. So 
degree of dx is of course degree of x plus 1 if x is homogeneous element. And so the, uh, this means, this is the meaning of degree 1. And associativity, so x, y, z is uh, x, y, z. So this is uh, differential graded algebra. And usually differential graded algebra is a very uh, useful tool to, de to describe deformation. So I, I will explain this. So, so uh, by, by the way, how about, what is this kind of sign convention? Usually, sign convention is like this. So if you have, if you, so degree, de, so, sorry, uh, so, so, egg, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. So here, uh, so D and X are interchanged, and so some, some. So if you, if you want to interchange the order from X Y to Y X, so it, if they are commutative, then you can interchange, but uh, in the graded case, you need to you need to add some sign. So this is uh, graded commutativity, and uh, this sign is introduced, and and this kind of sign is necessary for the whole theory to work. So let let you give me. So, uh, so uh, one, one of the example is the following. So F, let F be a coherent sheaf on algebraic variety X, and let this be a injective resolution. Injective resolution. Then A is the total of, of home I I. So home home complex. So uh, what what is this? So home home K of I I is the product of from from I I to I I plus K for all I. Yeah. So uh, I dot this is the, is the graded sheet. And uh, and the, the home set, a home vector space, is de defined like this. And then, so this is AK. And, and then D, D of A is, so differential is defined in the following way. D, D of A for F inside from K I I is equal to D I F minus minus one to the K of F D I D I. So D D I is here. So this is D I. In this way, I can put. Uh, Differential with with this sign in this complex, and then uh, a a k become a graded uh, a different DG algebra. Yeah. 
So because the, so by composition, so AK tensor AL go to A plus L is just composition. Composition of form. So in this way, uh, this is graded this algebra. And this this algebra has very close relationship with the deformation. So if I take HP of a dot, then this is isomorphic to extension of FF. So in, in, if you want to calculate the extension module, then you can, you can resolve this, the second argument in the injective resolution and take cohomology. Then you get extension shift. But you can resolve both, both arguments, and still you get the same cohomology. So in this, in this example, I, I resolve both, both arguments to get the uh, extension shift. And the advantage is that if I resolve both sides, then I can have this uh, ring structure. So if you resolve only one argument, then you don't have a ring structure. But uh, in this way, I can put ring structure. Okay. So another example is the following. So in the, in the same situation, I assume moreover that x is smooth and projective over C. In this case, so F has also projective resolution. P, P0, P1. Ah, sorry, maybe I, I should put here upper degree. Yeah. So uh, upper degree is a cohomological degree and usually it increases with differential. And this is lower degree, and this is equal to P minus one. So this is a more, uh, better convention. And this is locally free resolution. And if I, uh, under this assumption of smoothness, this stops at some point. So actually, it can stop at Pn, if the dimension of X is N. And then A, in this case, is a to total of A0 dot of uh, home uh, P, P. So, uh, so this, uh, this, this, uh, this one is A, A0, P is a sheaf of C infinity differential form, uh, differential form. of type 0p. And this is so so-called Dolbo complex. And by using Dolbo complex, you can also uh, calculate the extension shift. So in the case of lo locally free resolution, you need to resolve again, because, uh, uh, because this uh, locally free shifts have uh, higher cohomology. So in order to uh, compute the cohomology, you need to resolve again. And th this is more traditional way of computing extension shift. For example, in Toda's paper, uh, this, this uh, DG algebra is used. So here, so th there are three, three degrees. So, uh, so, so I need, I need to use so dA is equal to d bar plus, so uh, maybe db of f, where f is, so f is a differential of 
differential form or degree degree zero p form the time times uh, the home p i p my i i minus uh, q so this means this this belongs to so a a zero p of home q yeah. and then this is equal to d bar plus minus one to the p of d p f minus minus one to the p plus q of f d p yeah in in this way you get the differential with the same, same sign com similar sign convention So there, there are many different DG algebras which, which describe the deformation theory. But these DG algebras are infinite dimensional. So it, it is, uh, but, uh, so in the deformation theory, these cohomology groups is a, a key invariant. So they are uh, finite dimensional and they have a, uh, so if you take dimension, then you get uh, integer. So it is, so in the, in the analysis, you can, you, you, you use Dolbo cohomology and so uh, harmonic theory, but uh, in algebra, it's better to translate it into algebraic uh, structure, so consisting of finite dimensional vector space. And so this is A infinity algebra. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. So the definition, so A, again the graded vector space, is a A infinity algebra if the following condition is satisfied. So there are higher multiplications Mn, which is from Mn to A of degree Two minus n. So this means uh, this bracket means degree. This map is degree two minus n. And yeah, sa uh, satisfying following condition. So uh, the the identity is the following. So summation of minus one to the R S plus T of M R plus one plus T of one R tensor M S tensor one T is zero. Where uh, R plus S plus T is equal to N yeah. and the R is bigger than zero. Uh, R and T uh, bigger than zero, and S is bigger than two. So, so N, N is at least two. So, ah, uh, no, no, one. Sorry, one. So this is one. So this is the uh, definition of uh, A infinity algebra. So, for, for example, if A is a uh, DG algebra, then A has M1 equal D and M2 XY is uh, X tensor Y is just XY. So maybe M1 X is DX. So differential and uh, multiplication. So and, and uh, M, N is zero for N is at least three. Then uh, this equation is satisfied. So this algebra is uh, 
special case of uh, infinity algebra. Yeah, may maybe I, I, I need to explain more this equation. For, so so th this equation should be satisfied for all n. For example, so, so if n is 1, then uh, if n is 1, then so r and t are, should be 0. So only one thing. So r is t is 0. So that means just m1 times m1 is 0. So this is like d square is 0. And if, if I put n is 2, then there are possibility that uh, r is 1, s is 1, or r, r uh, t is 1, s is 1, or both 0 but s is 2. So uh, this is uh, minus 1 to, to so r, r, r s is 1, then this is 1, and m 2, 1 tensor m1 plus uh, minus 1 m2 m1 tensor 1 plus uh, M1, M2 is zero. Is this? Yeah. So, for, for example, if M2 is just a multiplication and, and M1 is differential, then this, this becomes dxy is equal to x. x dy plus y dx. Yeah. So, so this is a uh, derivation rule. And then uh, what is uh, the third uh, M3 uh, equation? So it is M3 then, so there are possibility that the R is so maybe S is if F is one, then R is two T is zero, or R is one T is one, R is zero T is two, and or S is Two R is one T is zero or R is zero T is one or S is three then R is T zero. So then what kind of equation do do I get? Is is that uh, M Three, one, tensor M one plus plus M two and three. Here it one. 1 tensor m1 plus r tensor 1 plus m3 again of m1 tensor 1 tensor 2 plus and then here so m2 1 tensor M two 
and here minus m2 m2 tensor 1 here is plus m3 1 3 hmm? that's here oh, sorry uh, m1 m3 is zero so this is the equation then but what does it mean so this is associative associative rule up to homotopy so if a, if there is associativity then this uh, these two terms should be zero so this is multiplication so this means uh, my so so x y z minus x y z. If 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 I apply to x times y plus z, and for associate for associativity this is zero, and in the in the DG algebra case there is no m three, so this should be zero. But in the infinity algebra case they are not associative, but they. So what, what, the, what is the remaining term? This is homotopy. So, so M1 is, so this is DH if M3 is H. And this is also uh, these three terms are also uh, HD. So if if d of this is uh, dx tensor y z plus ten, so this is three times. So in this way, uh, associativity is uh, true up to homotopy. Associative associate up to homotopy. So this is a infinity rule. So the the point is that here the associativity is uh, not true, but you you have uh, up up to homotopy, and then the higher associativity. So if you have uh, four terms, then they they are still some some homotopy, higher homotopy, and higher homotopy is described by a higher m, higher multiplications, and in this way. Uh, there is uh, no no solution, so you have to add infinitely many homotopies in order to make things work. work. So this is uh, uh, the idea of infinity uh, algebra structure de developed by topologists, algebraic topologists. And it, it seems that this kind of idea is now becoming popular in, in algebraic geometry. So this is called uh, derived algebraic geometry and uh, infinity structure and so on. So then, yeah. Uh, there, actually, there, there was a uh, series of workshops in, in Berkeley this year, and uh, but, uh, it is very, very uh, difficult. So I, I could not <laughs> under, understand. But, uh, it, it seems that uh, so for young people, they, they, it, it is very popular now. Yeah. So there were, there, were two, two, actually, there were two series in Berkeley. So bilateral geometry is one series, and another series is this derived algebra geometry. And, uh, as, so bilateral geometry people are old. <laughs> then the driver of the is all, all young people. <laughs> so sorry. But maybe for the next generation it will be more more so if you if you we have any control meaning of like equation? Some kind of separation object, that kind of thing. Yeah, there are many different interpretations. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but uh, I think this kind of mechanism works very well. So many, many interpretations got, come uh, together, at the, and and the, yeah, this kind of this kind of mechanism appears in many situations simultaneously. Yeah. So this is uh, this is infinity algebra. So yeah, and then. 
So, I need to define also morphisms. So first, how about the DG, DG algebra morphisms? DGA morphism. So this is easy. So from one DGA to another DGA, so this has grading, so it preserves grading. So the morphism itself has degree zero, and it preserves multiplication. And differential. Fd is equal to df, like this. So this is a very usual way of morphism. But the A-infinity morphism is much more complicated. So a infinity morphism from so here I assume A and B are A infinity algebras. And then this has set of many morphisms. So for n is bigger than one and degree of Fn is one minus n. So they, they are all K K vector space homomorphism, which satisfies some some uh, factoriality with multiplication. So that the, the equation is very similar. So minus one Rs plus T of F R plus one plus T of one tensor R tensor MS of A tensor T for all R T non-negative, and S is 1, and R plus T plus S plus T is N is equal to the following. So minus 1 to something of, of MRB of F I1 tensor F I R, where the I1 plus I R is equal to N, and, and the R is at least 1, and here is the summation of I J I K minus 1, where uh, J <laughs> Sorry, where well, j is sm smaller than k. So this is a sign convention which is used for defining it. So this is a uh, infinity morphism. For for example, in the if if uh, in that case of DG algebra, m m three is zero, so M, M1 is D, M2 is multiplication, then uh, there is no uh, complicated thing here. So, for example, yeah, for example, if, if N is one, then uh, what happens? Ah, yeah, very, very ah. I should not have, I, I have already uh, calculated here, so just I, I write, write that, so it's, it's easier. So. so this is F1, M1A is equal to M1B, F1. So this is usual, uh, D, DF is equal to, F, uh, FD is equal to DF. For N is two, then F1, M to A plus F two minus M one A tensor one minus one M one 
A is equal to M1 B F2 plus M2 B of F1 tensor F1. So here F2 appears. But uh, in the DG algebra case, you don't need F2. So F2 is zero. So in that case, you just have the, so here, D of multiplication in A is equal to multiplication in B times uh, this. Uh, no, not D, this is F, yeah. yeah. And if N is three, then it is more complicated. F1, M3, A plus F2 minus M2, A tensor one plus one tensor M2, A plus F3, M1, A tensor one tensor one plus one tensor M1, A tensor one plus one tensor one tensor M1, A is equal to M1 B F3 plus M2 B minus F1 tensor F2 plus F2 tensor F1 plus M1 B F1 tensor F1 tensor F1. So this is again to, to correct some uh, correction term for the associativity. And by the way, this, uh, this uh, sign convention, if you look at the Keller's paper, then something is different here. Yeah, even expert may, may make mistake in this sign convention. <laughs> but I think this, uh, this sign is better. Yeah. So then it works. Okay. So now there is important theorem on the existence of minimal model. So there is a theorem by Katerich Vili. Yeah, so called the minimal model. So let A be a DG algebra, and then there is A infinity algebra structure on HA. This is the direct sum of HP of A. So this is the direct sum of homologies. For example, in, in the in the pre previous example, if A comes from co uh, coherent chips, then this is the direct sum of extension modules. Such that, such that M1 is zero and M2 is derived from uh, composition. So co composition means so, M, so this is DGA, so H1 of A tensor H1 of A go to H2 of A. So there is natural uh, vector space homomorphism, and M2 is this. And there is A infinity morphism from A to HA. A infinity morphism. Which is quasi isomorphism. Quasi isomorphism means if you take uh, cohomology, then this, this becomes just a. Uh, so F1, F1 induces uh, quasi isomorphism. F1 is degree zero. So this is M2, and F1 
F, Fn is h1 of a to tensor n to no, maybe h hp. Maybe this is not good. So, for, for example, if I take h1, then what happens? So, the degree of Fn is 1 minus n. So, this part has degree n. So, it goes to Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, this is, I wanted to say m. And then this is 2 minus n, so this is 2 of a. But uh, f1 preserves degree because this is degree 0, so, so h1a goes to a, a1. And also hp goes to. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, actually this is wrong, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, h a to a. Ah, but actually there is an another, another theorem, similarly proved, that there, there is also another a infinity morphism from a to h a, another a infinity morphism, such that uh, g f, is identity of H A. But this identity is uh, what is identity of, as an A infinity morphism? So identity one is identity, and the identity n is zero for n is bigger than one. So all, always morphism is uh, just infinitely many morphisms. So this is uh, uh, complicated. Uh, thing for in infinity uh, formalism, but uh, the advantage of infinity thing is that each each degree they are finite dimensional. So this is the uh, biggest advantage. So in the DG DG algebra, so each degree is already infinite dimensional, and you need analysis to yeah, actually uh, make norms and so on. But you don't need norms here. So here you need analysis. Here you need only algebra. But, uh, so this analysis is replaced by infinitely many algebraic calculations. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, this is a good question. So this is not unique. But uh, F, is, F is unique up to uh, up to isomorphism. And isomorphism is again uh, like this. So, <laughs> so yeah. Is it factorial? Uh, factorial. Uh, um, uh, maybe, yeah. So I, I, I will sh show you the proof now. So I, I think it, it, you can make it factorial in, in some sense. But uh, anyway, this is not unique, so factoriality uh, is uh, questionable. So because yeah, it is not unique, so it, it can never factorial, but you can make it, make your choice. Yeah, you can make some choice. Then, then it, is, it can become factorial. But anyway, uh, this statement doesn't, doesn't mean factoriality. So I will give you a sketch, sketch of the proof. Okay, this is not so difficult. But uh, it is only complicated. <laughs> no, I mean the uh, uh, sign, sign convention. Sign, sign convention is very difficult. <laughs> but actually, this, this is uh, so me mechanical difficulty. Yeah. So, so sketch of proof. 
Uh, and the, there is more conceptual proof, and then the, the concept requires more knowledge. So this uh, simple-minded uh, calculation is easier in, in some sense. So, so I, I should define mn to from h a n to h a, and also f n from h a n to a by induction. I define m n and f n by induction. So and satisfying the following uh, so first, first th this is the same as the definition of the AFT algebra and the second is slightly easier Because on the right hand side, there is only two terms, because it is DG algebra. I, I n minus I plus one of M2 A F I tensor F n minus I. So this these two equations should be satisfied. Uh, there is no higher m in A because A is DG algebra. So if you look at this uh, closely, so then the highest, highest n is, so, uh, so each of the, both has a degree n term. And then if you look at the degree n term, then only so this become uh, M1 of Mn. Yeah. So this is the highest term. And here the highest term is F1 Mn. Yeah. So now assume that these two are determined up to n minus 1 already. And then I will define mn and fn. And mn is defined by using this equation up to this. So, but this is differential, uh, essentially. So you, you need to solve the equation. D, df is something. Uh, D, D times something is given, then something you, you can solve. So this is uh, uh, order one differential equation. So this is the ambiguity in in this. Uh, so th this is why there is no factoriality in, in the in the strict sense. So so how to do this? So let let U N be the right hand side N minus one plus one F M two A F I tensor F N minus I. But here I put only I is uh, Bigger than zero and smaller than n, so I so one times uh, zero. Uh, uh, sorry, I uh, know this this is all all terms. Sorry, minus so R S plus t of F R plus one plus t of one R minus one t. But here, I assume that S is smaller than N minus 1. So I just deleted the term S is equal to N. 
And then one can show that m1 au is zero. So this is a, a point. So uh, assume this. Then, so the the equation, so this this equation become the following. So m1 a of f n plus u n is equal to f1 m n. So m n is not known, but uh, suppose that this is true, then so this is just a d. So this means that the un is closed. So there is a cohomology class un. And this is a definition of mn. Yeah. In, oh, sorry. No. So d define. Then, then this is boundary this guy. Hmm? sorry no so so and, and the f sorry f1 f1 is just to take representative of homology class so f1 is a map from h1 of a to a1 to a1 so just to take representative of a cohomology class. So MN is a cohomology class of U and take representative. So the difference is boundary. So you can write uh, some, uh, some FN. So in this way, you can solve this equation. So and this equation becomes the second equation. And then, uh, you can check that the first equation is automatically satisfied. Yeah. So this is a, this is a, a direct uh, direct way of the proof. And the, the converse, so the the theorem has also the converse, but this converse is all, uh, proved very similar way. So also by induction. On, so, so first you, you, you state equations, and then uh, you solve equation by using this kind of trick again. So, but, uh, I, I don't do this. Uh, but, uh, you, you can, you, or, uh, yeah, yes. So the, and so there, there, there is a little bit more a uh, systematic way of proving this. Yeah. So, the systematic way. Ah, by the way, I, here, here I didn't define the composition. So I, I should have defined what is composition. So because G and F are not just one morphism, but infinitely many morphisms. So, but the, the, the definition is easy. So the composition of so F and G are infinity, and then composition has also infinitely many morphisms, and this is just the summation of minus and the summation something. And G R F R I one tensor F I R, where this sum is the same as as in the definition of F. Where, where is the definition of F? Uh, like this, but this this has only two terms. So, but actually, this is I J I. K plus one for J K something like this. This is put here. And this is the definition of composition. And then the composition becomes identity. So now uh, there is another way of 
or doing this. So this is so let A be uh, a, any A infinity algebra. So for example, this algebra. And B is a K subspace, K vector subspace. And the uh, inclusion is denoted by I. And as I assume that there is some projection A to B. And so, so let pi be pi. So and satisfying pi square is pi. So this is idempotent. Ident potent. potent. But uh, this idempotent is only as k vector space. And and uh, I assume that one minus pi is homotop homotopic. So that means d pi plus pi d. Ah, no, no, h, sorry, dh plus hd. So these are both graded. So this is graded subspace, graded, graded subspace. And this is, of course, degree 0. So uh, pi is also degree 0. And here, d is degree 1, and h is degree minus 1. This is called homotopy. So identity map of A is homotopic to the projection, this idempotent. So this is the assumption, this assumption. And then there exists A infinity, ah, uh, one more, so sorry. D pi is equal to pi D. So I assume also this. Then there is infinity structure on B. And this B, uh, yeah, such that there is B to A, which is infinity morphism and quasi-isomorphic. This is uh, a little bit more general statement than this minimum model theory. In the minimum model theory, A was assumed to be uh, the, on the DG algebra. But here, A can be uh, any infinity algebra. And the A, A infinity algebra, A, is replaced by subspace, B, which is smaller. So the, in, the, in the previous theorem, this was DGA. And here, this, this was HA. That's a more, more general statement. And, and the, so there is one, so here, but here there is homotopy. So I assume that there is a homotopy operator uh, connecting A and B. And th this is uh, not always uh, true, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure about it. But uh, for example, in the case of smooth project variety and this Dolbock homology, this homotopy op operator is given by harmonic projection. So, yeah, H harmonic projection. So maybe this, maybe this kind of homotopy operator exists always without any analytic structure. So, and then, if the, in, under this assumption, so b due to Konsevich Soiberman, uh, this uh, infinity structure is uh, more explicitly written. So, so A infinity structure of B is just P of M one A. I, so this is just uh, restriction of the differential. And M to B is also restriction. So M to A, I times I. And then for N is bigger than 2, so Mn B 
is equal to the summation of some plus minus. It's, uh, the, the sign is not, not uh, precisely stated. Maybe it is too difficult to determine the uh, <laughs> sign and t. And t, what is t? t is a uh, tree. So something like this. So you have n, n leaves and then something like, like this. And at the bottom, there is root. Maybe this is maybe more. So I just write one example. In this case, n is equal to 5. And uh, uh, eventually, it comes to the bottom root. And uh, the, you, you need to flow uh, according to top to bottom. And to each vertex, you, up, you write m. So this, this time, m2, and this time, m3. And the inner, inner edge is always h. And this is M2 and H, and this is I or I, and this is P. So, for example, in this in this graph, uh, the the result is that this is P, H, M2, and H, M2. Tensor H M three. Maybe it's it's better to write this I I tensor H M three I I I. Yeah. Like this. So this this tree represent such formula. And you just, you just add up all these uh, trees. And uh, how many, so but by the way, in the case of uh, DG algebra, so if, if, if A is DG, then so only M1 and M2, M3 and so on doesn't appear, so they are zero. So such, uh, such vertex doesn't appear, only two, two branch joints. And in this case, so it is easy to classify all the trees. So, and the num so there is a formula. So number of three for n is equal to uh, 2n minus 2 factorial over n minus 1 factorial n factorial. So, it, this, so the, there are such number of trees. For example, if n is 5, as uh, n is uh, I think I think uh, hmm. n, n is 4, maybe. Then for example, uh, so one possibility is like this, and another is like this, and maybe like this. Like this. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. So there are five. 
five trees. And this is also uh, showing this uh, homo second homotopy equivalence. So th this, this comes from the loop space. So if you, if you consider loop space, and then the, the homotopy, so if you, so if you have, a, so if you have a three, three loop and compose, then this is homotopic to L1 and L2, L3, because uh, so this, this loop is something like this. So the first half is L1, and then the remaining half is divided into two parts, L2, L3. And this one is like this, L1, oh no, L1, L2, L3. Because always uh, the composition of loop is divided into half. So you know, this is a zero one section. Zero one, uh, zero, yeah, zero one section is, uh, zero one interval is uh, divided into two parts. First part is this loop, second part is this loop, and then this loop. Something. And uh, both compositions are uh, homotopic. And if you take four, four loops, then there is five way of uh, changing the the composition. So this is a basic homotopy. And so so in this way, you can uh, calculate by by using homotopy. Uh, so you you can you can take the degree here. So from here, first this is degree zero and degree minus one. Hmm? Uh, yeah, so degree zero, degree minus one, degree zero, degree minus one. So the result is degree minus two. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, yes, yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And then degree minus. Hmm? Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Uh, n is yes, yes. So n is uh, five to two minus n is minus three. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes. Yes. I, I. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So only inner inner edge should be replaced by h. Yeah. 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 But is it is this okay? The degrees. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, because I, I in, input five already, so yeah, maybe, yeah. Okay. So now I uh, take a break. Yeah. <coughs> Something of, hmm. food of like specific presentation really hmm. depends on the Pontoria Pongarelema. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to see how Pungari Lema comes up in a really nature way. Otherwise, mm -hmm. there are too much freedom. So in some sort of we try ah. to have a, some kind of ah. okay. gauge okay. of the, ah. of the ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, as I said, uh, this is a harmonic projection. So in, the, no, in the smooth case. I'm in yeah? general case. General case, yeah, I don't know. The, 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 there is no such... Uh, metric or something. Yeah? So the, the, it depends. So or this homotopy operator. So this defines. This, this is, uh, but uh, there is not many choice of this. Yeah? But for A infinite algebra, in fact, mm. is more freedom mm. than the, I also then get a many for a kind of thing. Mm. So in some, in some sense, we really don't have a hard composition theory. Mm -hmm. So I want to see how to fix the Pongarema mm. in the general oh. setting. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not uh, actually expert. I just uh, 
studied this. Uh, yeah. 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 これはだから1から R までです。だから J, J と K は1と R の間です。あ1と R の間で、1と R の間で。あっ、そうか。<笑><笑>あなんか結構すごい。<笑>あだからこれ、<笑>そう<笑>若い人。若い人は若い人こういうの好きなんですよね。<笑><笑>あこれなんか入ってる、入ってるから。<笑>これでも入試問題だ。<笑><笑><笑>確かに4の場合合ってるなと思ったんですけど<笑>これだから2つだけだからですか要するに3つあったら持ってたくさん<笑><笑>でもそれだともっと難しいんだろうね多分<笑>あいいえ<笑>
and then how to see Pongarelum lemma from this kind of thing. Uh -huh. it, finally, we really did Pongarelum by solving a PTE, uh -huh. the first degree PTE. It's some kind of superior system. So how to house it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is this? Is this okay? Uh, working. Okay. So, can I start or? So now I, I'd like to recall uh, first uh, non-commutative deformations. So this non-commutative, non-commutative is, is abbreviated NC deformations. So I, I start with F, so coherent chip on X, and uh, first I recall uh, what is uh, non-commutative de deformation. And then how it is described first by DG algebra, and then secondary, uh, I will explain how it is described using A infinity algebra. And then by using A infinity algebra, I, I can uh, describe the vessel deformation. So, so, so the. So in the non-commutative deformation, it is better to use multi-pointed deformation because uh, each deformation is ind not independent, but they are in intertwined. But uh, it is uh, more complicated. So first I, I describe only one-pointed deformation. And then later, I will just uh, mention about multiple-pointed multiple case. So I, so I consider only one-pointed case. But actually, multiple-pointed case is uh, more important. For example, in, in Toda's paper, uh, he, he considered polystable shift. So, so if you have a stable shift, stable shift, then it is degenerate to semi-stable shift. And if you take the uh, associated S, S uh, equivalence, it is equivalent to the direct sum of a stable shift with the same slope. And this is called the polystable. And the polystable shift is just the direct sum of a stable shift. And this is, uh, this is indeed the multiple pointed case. But uh, this, so I will, I will talk about this multiple pointed case uh, later. But now, I, for simplicity, I, I talk about only one pointed case. Then, so the ring is in the category of Artinian ring. So this is uh, k dimensional, uh, uh, finite dimensional, finite dimensional over a field and associative ring. associative algebras. And there is only one maximal, maximal two-sided ideal denoted by M. Such that R over M is naturally isomorphic to the base field. And moreover, M is nilpotent. 
So this is the uh, basic category. So in the multiple pointed case, R, R of R, so this is R pointed case. In this case, the, there, there is R maximal idea, uh, no, not maximal, um, yes, maximal ideas. So maximal two-sided ideas such that R over M, uh, so M, M is just intersection of MI. This is K to the R. This is the direct product of base field and M is unipotent. So this is a multiple pointed case. But I, I consider only this. And then the deformation of F over R is the following. So FR is a, again a coherent OX module is R structure. So actually R, R tensor OX module such that which is flat over R, this is first condition. In second, there is isomorphism, R over M tensor R of F, R to F. And actually, deformation is a concept of pair. So module and isomorphism. So this is the deformation. So this is the, uh, exactly the same, same definition as the usual deformation, but only I, I don't assume the commutativity of R. Otherwise, everything is the same. So I'll give you uh, some example. So let's consider a line in P3. So then I consider the structure shift. Then the usual deformation, so the, the modular space, modular space of F is equal to Grassmannian of 2, 4. And this is a smooth homogeneous variety. So the deformation is, had, is not obstructed. The, the parameter space is smooth and uh, four-dimensional. So commutative deformation is unobstructed of dimension Four. So, special, especially tangent space is isomorphic to K4, and this is actually extension one of FF. And dimension of extension two of FF is equal to which product of K4, and this is K6. So, hmm? ready? Uh, excuse me. No, no, this is not uh, correct, sorry. This is only three-dimensional, so by calculation. Ah, actually, the normal bundle, no, sorry, normal bundle of L is O1 plus O1. And so this is nothing but H0 of L of O1 square. And this is nothing but H0 of L of determinant of normal bundle. 
and this is three. So, yeah. Yeah. so, it, so this is known to be the, the obstruction space. So obstruction space is non-vanishing, but uh, uh, for commutative deformation there is no obstruction actually. So and uh, in the deformation theory, such 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 unobstructedness happens very often. So that that is already remarked by Kodaira. So Kodaira proved that the tangent space is uh, something like this, and the obstruction is something like this. And uh, for example, in the to in the case of torus, there are a lot of obstructions, but there is uh, no actual obstruction. And he asked why 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 there are so many unobstructed deformations. Yeah. Uh, and actually, it, it is quite uh, uh, everywhere. Yeah. But uh, the, how about the non -com non commutative formal deformations? So this is F R hat over R hat. But R hat is just the inverse limit of Rn, and Rn is in this art, art in uh, ring. So, the, the, so each deformation is of a finite dimensional algebra, but if you take, you can take also inverse limit, so it is infinite dimensional. And this is, so I, I want to describe Vassal deformation. When the Vassal deformation is described by using infinity algebra. But in this case, uh, the result is the following. So R hat is equal to K A B C D divided by A B minus B A and C D minus D C and A D minus D A plus C B minus B C. And this bracket is uh, the two-sided idea generated by these two, uh, three elements. Two-sided idea. And this uh, two bracket is a non-commutative form of power series ring. So th there are four independent uh, variables corresponding to the four-dimensional x, x1 space, and the three equations corresponding to this x2. Space, and uh, this this is a commutativity of A and B and C and D, but A and D do not commute commute because the uh, obstruction space is only three dimensional. So you you cannot if you if you have uh, all commuta commutators, then you get uh, just uh, commutative deformation, but you don't have uh, all commutators. This is just part of the comm commutators. So the non-commutative deformation is more than the uh, commutative deformation, but obstructed. So it is singular also. So this this is uh, uh, quite uh, quite common common feature of non-commutative deformations. So. Uh, So similar example. So this is one example. Another another example is weighted projective space, and F is O1. Hmm. So he here this is almost projective plane, but there are two singularities: one over two, one one, and one over. 3, 1, 2. So there are two Gorenstein singularities. And this, this shift is not invertible at these singular points. But otherwise, it's invertible. And, and the invertible shifts do not have any extension because the, the cohomology vanishes on, on this kind of final variety. But uh, some, there, there are some local uh, extensions. So x1 ff is uh, the sum of sum of x 
uh, actually i is one to two of x one f x i f x i so this is x one x two so this the, there are two singularities just two, two singularities and so here uh, two dimensional this is extension local extension has two dimensional and here we have three dimensional space so this is five dimensional hmm? sorry, sorry, sorry. the tangent space is two dimensional but uh, there, there are more more defo deformation so uh, actually the deformation space so r hat is equal to k a a b divided by a square and b cube. And this is infinite dimensional. And if you take abelianization, so this is uh, the parameter space of commutative deformation, then this is a b divided by a2, b3, and this is just the six dimensional. Six. Six dimensional. So uh, there are a lot more non commutative deformations. Yeah. Now, uh, how to describe non commutative deformation by using DG algebra? So first, I, I use injective resolution. This is uh, much more general than the uh, locally free resolution. So I take injective resolution. I Z I one. So uh, there's a proposition. So there exist injective resolution of f. So f is given, just only f is given. Then for all r and for all deformation of f over r, there exists exact sequence like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the, if you take a, if you take an injective resolution in a standard way, then you can extend this to arbitrary deformation. So this is uh, not, maybe this is not always true, because uh, this, this is over, this is exact sequence over R tensor OX. And by using injectivity, you can always write this as OX module, but not R times, R, R times OX module. So, this is but, uh, so, so. What was your statement? You say that the, the area exists in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in that case, always uh, resolution. Yes. Exist such that for any deformation, there exist uh, such exact sequence. So, I, yeah, this, this is a little bit uh, uh, strange. So uh, I hope that the following proof is correct. So please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, hmm? In the sequence out there, mm. it's not given by taking, I mean, the, the part starting from zero term. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, well, such that if I take tensor k over r, then 
uh, this is one maybe, this is two, uh, such that this become a one. So this one reduces this. And, but this is a flat deformation, so it, it is not a uh, direct product. Only these terms are direct product, yeah. uh, or just tensor product. Okay. So, so how how so first of all, let take arbitrary point, and then so I x is is home of K of OX, X to FX. Yeah. So this is just the K homomorphism. Both, both are K modules. So th the space of uh, all homes, of all K homomorphisms. And the, so K is a field. So this becomes uh, injective OX module. So th this is a little bit strange. Yeah. So, but so injective resolution can be uh, defined over Z, and for Z you need one more step. But here, it, everything is over the field. So over the field, everything split. So injectivity is easier. So I, I just can define like this. And, and the o, OX module structure is uh, here. So if you have F in, in this home, and if, if you have OX, then AFB is just FAB. And, and this, this ring is commutative. So usually this is so contravariant thing, but uh, since this is commutative, I can define this way so that this becomes OX module. And the uh, injectivity so injectivity is like this. So if you, you take M arbitrarily uh, OX module, Then home of home of uh, O X of M I X is isomorphic to home of K of M F X because uh, this is home O X of M and home K O X F X. Yeah. And, but the, the right hand side is because this is over K, so it is uh, exact with respect to M. So uh, this is also exact. So it is injected. Yeah. And then uh, I, I0 is just. I zero u is just the direct product of I x or x is in u, and then uh, I zero become uh, injective O x module, and moreover there is natural map from f x to I x because uh, this is home of O x. Fx, and if you take m, then here uh, a go to am. Yeah. In this way, there is injective injective map which is ox homomorphism. So ox ox hom. So in this way, there, there is uh, just one one choice of uh, Injective resolution. So this is this is just the first step, and the second. But the second step is um, 
to just repeat to the co-kernel. And then I want to show that it is so So I, I repeat the same thing for FRX. So I Rx is equal to home of x a k of o x and and f r x. Yeah. And this become this become R tensor OX module in the following way. So if I take F, then R A F B is equal to R F A B. So R, R, R is in R and over K. So this is a little bit uh, not not very natural. But so this has R module structure. So you can define this. And in this way, this one has R O X module structure. So if I take R I R, U is direct product of of I R X or all X. Then this has this is R tensor O X module, and there is a natural homomorphism from F to I R by taking F M to so this is homo maybe. Rx and uh, Ox Frx by M one. Ah, no, no. A go to A M. And if so, sorry, if R. And the RM go to A go to R A M. So in this way, there is R O X homomorphism also. This, but then, so I I R is R tensor OX module, which is injective as OX module. But it is not injective as R, R tensor OX, but only as OX module it is injective because of this construction. But uh, what I need is only R, R action. Injectivity is only over OX. Uh, this is not injective resolution. So, this is, yeah, this is the injective resolution. Yeah, yeah, this is just stack. yeah, this just exact sequence. But uh, so uh, so in this way, I can construct exact sequence. Uh, I R zero. I R one and so on. Yeah. And then I I want to prove that each term so I R P is isomorphic to uh, R P. 
But this isomorphism is not natural. So th th there is some change of coordinate, and this change of coordinate is described by DG algebra. So why, why this is isomorphic? Uh, yeah, because there is homomorphism, and because uh, FR is, so this is just R over M tensor. So the, from R to R over M, I have uh, this subjective homomorphism. And from here, I have uh, I0, R2, I0, the first time. Second time and so on are the similar. At the first time, this. So this is also subjective. But then I, I0 is injective, so there, there is a splitting here. Yeah. So there is homomorphism. This is OX, OX homomorphism. But then R tensor by scalar extension, I get OX home as scalar extension. Yeah. And this becomes isomorphism by, by construction. So this, because uh, this, this, this is in some sense at the top. So the, so R, R, R is like this. So uh, at the top, there's R over M, and this is M. And uh, at the top, here you have. So this, this splitting go to some top with some uh, other coefficient. So, so here, here you have uh, I zero, and the image of I zero spread out here. But uh, by by projection, you get again here. So always here, uh, here is uh, uh, yeah, saturated. But uh, other things. But by by taking scalar, so you you have uh, so the action of R always going down. So uh, it is uh, bijective. So just just bijective. So this is, this is a proof of the proposition. Actually, what, so I, I wondered uh, this kind of statement at the beginning, but I, I could not prove uh, this uh, when I wrote the reference paper. So I will revise this. So then, then uh, all argument become much simpler. So now, uh, so by using this proposition, so any deformation have exact sequence, and this, so since I have now this new, new coordinates, and so the, what is this differential? So FR is described by differentials, of the complex, complex R tensor I dot. And this differential, so I dot has, has uh, original differential, original differential, so it is denoted by D. And then the new differential is D plus A, where A, uh, maybe A is, uh, not, uh, not good, so maybe. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, D, D. D is on I. D, D is on I, yeah. So the scalar, scalar, scalar extension of D. So then 
the, the remaining thing should be something, maybe C. Yeah? C is in A1. A, A1 is home of I dot, I dot, uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so A1 is this, but the C is in M tensor A1. Because uh, when, when you reduce to the base field, then this is uh, just D. But uh, with maximal ideal coefficient, you have some uh, correction term. Ah, uh, yes, yes, so I uh, one, yes. One. Yeah. So, and then, so this is just differential ma map, but uh, there the, is uh, exact, exactness. Exactness, so especially d plus c square is zero. And, and this is nothing but d square plus d c plus C D plus C C. Yeah. But the C C is degree one. And D is degree one. And also D square is zero because D is differential. And this is D C minus minus one one of C D. So this is just D A of C. So what I get is the equation. Uh, this is the Maura Kaltan equation. on the DG algebra. So DX, DX plus C square is zero. So if so if the if the exact sequence is uh, if I have exact sequence then I get element C which satisfy uh Maura Carter equation. Then what about the converse? So suppose, suppose sigma is given with maura kautan equation. Then uh, I get complex. Uh, R times I0, R times I1, and so on, where D plus C, uh, D plus C, and this is complex. Yeah, and then I, I can take cohomology of this complex. But the cohomology is upper, continu upper, upper semi-continuous, so uh, this will, will become zero. If P is positive and some sheaf, this is definition. <coughs> P is zero. So if you deform exact sequence to complex, then it is automatically exact. Or well, you, you can prove this by induction like this. So, so then. So, so in R, there is some ideal such that MI, uh, not, I is not good, uh, sorry, so J, J, J is zero, something like this. So two-sided ideal and two-sided. Always you can find such J, and R dash is just a uh, residue ring. Then, so you, you get J tensor I, R tensor I, and R dash 
Okay, so I like this. So, and by induction, this is exact. And also, this is exact. And then by five lemma, uh, this is also exact. So in this sense, I can prove the vanishing of uh, cohomologies. And then the, the, the zero cohomology, I can define FR. So in this way, so, so sigma is, so this is called the maura kalutan element, defines uh, deformation. FR. So in, in this way, so summing up, in this way, so you, you started with uh, flat deformation, then by, you can get uh, this exact sequence. But, and uh, conversely, from exact sequence, you get deformation. So in this way, it is described. So, so I think uh, it's time, yeah? So uh, next time I will, uh, so, but this, this, this description is uh, sufficient in many ways so, uh, for analytic method. But uh, for algebraic method, it's better to use it. To, so this is, this equation is nonlinear equation. So in uh, infinite dimensional vector space. But in uh, infinity algebra, I replace this to an, a, another equation. So, Mama uh, Carlton in A infinity is the following. So, this is just Mi C C, uh, C to the I. So, in infinity algebra, Mama Carlton equation is uh, infinitely long. So this is just M1 and M2. So M infinitely many. Then, then it, the equation is replaced to this. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So min minimal model. Yeah. yeah, minimal model has the advantage that M1 is zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>